Yeah, I see them in the streets struggling. Young, dumb, and thugging. Give a fuck about nothing. Stuck at rock bottom trying to come up on something. Pumping from sundown to sun. What's up, guys? Street Justice here. Welcome back to my channel. We are back with another reaction to Game of Thrones on this Game of Thrones Thursday. This is Season 2, Episode 6, The Old Gods and the New. I feel like that's basically what this entire show has been so far. Out with the old and in with the new, you know? Those damn millennials, like... Joffrey, he's pretty much the worst of the bunch, I'd say, at least in my opinion. But at the same time, all credit goes to the actor. I say it every single reaction how much I hate the Joffrey character, but that's just because the actor is doing such a good freaking job. Obviously, a lot of credit goes to the script too, but man, I've never seen that actor anywhere else, which is kind of crazy because he does such a good job in this show. You'd expect that his career maybe did blow up and I'm just <laughs> I'm just completely off the radar. I have no idea. But yeah, I haven't seen him in anything else, which is actually really surprising. I have no real predictions or expectations for this episode other than Joffrey doing some crazy shit as usual. With that said, I am one week ahead on Patreon for Game of Thrones. I'm getting caught up tomorrow for Peaky Blinders, but by the time you guys are seeing this, episode three or my reaction to episode three should already be out. But uh, yeah, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, now's a very good time to click that button down below, smash that like button while you're there with that said let's jump right in let's check it out let's go we got action right off the bat i feel like this show does that a lot starts episodes off quick all right he got a message out no i'm taking your castle fuck this See guy now brings the on now brands like i'm taking him serious i'm occupying it I sent men over the walls with grappling claws and ropes. I'm a Greyjoy. I can't fight for Rob and my father both. You're a traitor. The castle is mine. But these people are still yours. You'll yield to keep them safe. To keep them alive. That's what a good lord would do. I don't like this. See him. Did you hate us the whole time? I yielded Winterfell to Prince Theon. You all know me! I we know you for a steaming sack of shit. Maester Louis, send a raven to Pike informing my father of my victory here. I am the Lord of Winterfell, as Bran just informed you. Send the ravens. My lord. Thought he was refusing at first. No! He was always loyal to the Starks too. Back from Torrent Square. Took out two of ours before I got his sword. It grieves me that we meet his foes. Grieves me of less honor than a back alley whore. These people are your people. They are not my people. King not Robert, anymore. He was a brother. My brothers are dead. They died fighting Stark men. Serve this house faithfully, old man. But keep talking and I'll... <laughs> Take him to the cell. Right. Lock him up. Right. Right. You cannot let that stand. He must pray. I'll never respect you while he lives. I get it, but I don't want to see it. I kind of do want to see it because it's going to be entertaining, but... He doesn't deserve it. Say, Roderick, I sentenced you to death. Oh, fuck. The old man couldn't keep his mouth shut. This is a big moment. The Starks will pay. Please, Theon. You'll address me as Prince Theon, or you'll be next. Your last words, old man. Of course, it starts raining. God help you, Theon Greyjoy. Now you are truly lost. <laughs> He didn't do it in a single fucking swing. Oh my god. That was messed up. There goes your pet. I forgot these guys were out there. Well, the wildlings we're looking for. Sleep during the day, hunt at night. Like vampires. I thought you said you couldn't know a wild thing. I said you can't. Lord Peter Baelish. Mm. Oh Highway. fuck. Baelish. Little finger. It is my belief that a moment of chaos affords opportunities lost soon after. You say that as if you were the first man. Play it cool, Arya. Loras wants revenge. He blames Stannis for Renly's death. And Marjorie mm. wants to be queen. House Tyrell rebelled against the Iron Throne, against my grandson. They did. And perhaps that treason should be punished after Stannis and Rob Stark are defeated. Is he showing his true colors right now? Fuck! Pardon me, Lord. It's only wine. And what else? On your son Tyrion's directive, I met with Catelyn Stark. Why? He had 
an interesting proposal for her concerning her daughters. What's he gonna do with that info now? Oh god. I really don't trust Littlefinger. Ooh. What is he reaching for? What was she reaching for? What's your name? Egret. She was reaching for this axe when you got to her. Hmm. Give her half a chance, she'll bury it in your face. If your people captured me, they'd take me prisoner. They'd take your head off your shoulders if they was feeling kind. Oof. If not, they'd kill you slow. We'll meet you at the top. Don't take too long. Is this a potential love interest? I feel like everybody's getting shacked up in the show now. Strike hard and true. Jon Snow. Or I'll come back and haunt you. Go on. Be quick about it. We've already seen one decapitation this episode. Bastard! Do it! If we're not gonna do it, why even swing? No! <laughs> oh, she's a fighter! She's a runner! Holy hell! Damn! That was slick. One day I pray you love someone. I pray you love her so much. When you close your eyes, you see her face. I want you to know what it's like to love someone. To truly love someone. Before I take her from you. If that's not a threat, I don't know what is. Oh, hey, the king! I wouldn't even want to, like, look at his direction. Please, grace, we're hungry! Like, he can go off the handle at any moment. Oh. Oh. Who threw that? Get on, I the man who threw that. Oh, I thought that was a rock. To Run, Tyrion. Are they fucking zombies? <laughs> Holy. And this is why you don't act like Joffrey if you're a king. Yeah, you have all the power to do whatever. But there's a reason why you don't. No. We've had vicious things. And we've had English kings, but I don't know if we've ever been cursed with a vicious idiot or because of a war you snuck. You're talking to a king! Ah! And now I've struck a king. He fucking if deserves that. Where is the Stark girl? Let them have her! If she dies, you'll never get your uncle Jamie back. You owe him quite a bit, you know. She better not get fucking raped or something here. <laughs> oh. All right now, little bird, you're all right. We're for the life. See to that cut. Well done, the game. I didn't do it for you. Forgive me. I had terrible dreams last night. Terrible dreams. So, my little princess, what is it you want? My birthright. The Seven Kingdoms of Westeros. Do you have an army? Not yet. You do not have an army. Do you have powerful allies in Westeros? There are many there that support my claim. Forgive me, little princess, but I cannot make an investment based on wishes and dreams. I'm no ordinary woman. My dreams come true. I'm sorry, little princess. I am not your little princess. Oof. I am Daenerys Stormborn of the blood of old Valyria, and I will take what is mine. But not with my ships. She's coming for him when she does. Let my face be. Lord Tyron gave it to me. What for? To take to the armory. Let's go and ask him. No. Where's that one guy? Her, her personal assassin. Is that who she's looking for? Hey, we lodge. Yes. A man will do what must be done. Now! Go cannot tell a man when exactly he must do a thing. But he's going to tell time when he's getting away. It has to be now. Wow. God! Okay, that guy is good. We'll stay warmer if we stay close. He's reluctant, but the spooning is, it's gotta happen. I think she's a new ally. Stop moving. I'm just trying to get comfortable. This cannot be true. 
We've had ravens from White Harbor, Baratown, and the Dreadfort. I'm afraid it is true. I told you never trust a Greyjoy. I must go north at once. If you march all the way back north now, you lose what you gained. My boy would be honored to bring you Prince Theon's end. I want him brought to me alive. I want to look him in the eye and ask him why. And then I'll take his head myself. Ooh. And where are you going? Kill him. I something for you from Prince Theon. What? Me? She does not hesitate. Oh my goodness. Kiss of death. What? They're all working together? Yes. I kind of find these bits a little bit, uh... Less exciting. What? Where are they? Fuck! They took the dragons. Where are my dragons? That's all they ever cared about there, Karth. <laughs> Right, guys that was game of thrones season two episode six the old gods and the new really good episode a lot of crazy shit went down that episode from a beheading at the very start of the episode to a flat out riot and i thought that joffrey was doomed there and honestly I thought Sansa was gonna get raped. I didn't want to see it happen at all. This show and HBO, they've already shown that they have no problems showing the brutal stuff from beheadings and like the first beheading at the start of the episode, man, I, that, that guy was good. He was so loyal to Kat, especially after Ned's passing. Oh, it sucked to see him go. He was a good guy, but yeah, the beheading when Theon was actually Theon Greyjoy, man, what a turn of events that, that guy has had. Like, he went from, I really enjoyed his character and like how loyal he was to Starks to being some pompous piece of shit. He's almost, he's just as bad as Joffrey at this point. But when he was beheading that one guy, man, it took him, I don't know how many swings, I lost count, but you saw the blood spraying up and everything. That was brutal. And even when it was going down, that one older guy, the one that's always there with Bran, I'm surprised I don't know his name yet, but he, he the one that managed to get that one letter off and then tried to convince Theon to actually not go through with the beheading. I feel like that moment for Theon was really a moment that decided his fate. If he didn't go through with it, it's almost like he could have been redeemed, but because he decided to actually do it, it's almost like Joffrey and the beheading of Ned crazy that you behead people and you're, you pretty much doom yourself or we'll see. My guess is that that's going to be the moment that really dooms Theon. Even when he decided to fucking turn his back on King Rob and just go against the Starks, man, they raised him. I obviously, like on one hand, he was obviously taken from his home. His brothers or his family was basically slaughtered except for his father and his sister. I guess she was not alive at the time or she may have been, but super young. But yeah, man, to basically trade in his loyalty to the Starks and go this route, it's really rough to see, but... It's almost like running parallel with Joffrey, those two characters, and then seeing the, the ride happen with Joffrey, I guess he got uh, some shit thrown at him, some cow shit or some horse shit or something, and then, yeah, he did not take that well as expected. Did you really think that he was going to handle that well? Obviously, he was not going to handle that well. We all know Joffrey by now. I said at the very start of this episode, my, that was my prediction for this episode, <laughs> this episode, that Joffrey was probably going to do some Joffrey shit, and that's exactly what we saw. And when push came to shove, and he kind of got humiliated a little bit. His immediate response was, kill them all, just be done with them. But uh, yeah, uh, that didn't work out too well in his favor. Thank God Sansa was not raped right because of that though. The Hound, he saved her. And even Tyrion, he knew right away. He's like, I, I wasn't sure exactly what his whole motive was because he's like, Fine, Sansa. That was his first thought, but then he revealed it after that. How the hell are we supposed to get Jamie back if we don't have her? Because obviously they don't have Arya, but oh man, that's the other reveal of this episode. Littlefinger, he now knows that Arya's alive. He now knows exactly where she is. So basically what he told Kat the previous episode, either last episode or two episodes ago, I guess it's truth now how we have your daughters and they're both still alive. They're both well. Even though he didn't have Arya at the time, he now knows where she is. So that was crazy. And then what was the other stuff? I gotta be honest, I'm not really a fan of the Khaleesi stuff going on right now. In the first season, I was very interested with Cal Drogo and just the whole <laughs> Viking experience basically. But 
no, to see see what's going on in Karth right now, until the very final moments of this episode, I just don't really care. It's a little bit boring. That's just my opinion. Uh, hopefully I'm not offending anybody if you guys are like, hey, that's the best part of the series. But for me, I don't know. I'm just not very interested in that, especially when we see everything else going on in the show. But uh, yeah, at the very end, that was pretty crazy. I don't think they actually... I didn't get a good look at who's the one that actually stole the dragon. So that's another crazy thing to happen. I'm going to save that prediction for... We'll discuss that more next episode. It'll probably be revealed next episode. I wouldn't be surprised. But what was the other stuff that happened? Oh yeah, Jon Snow too. Man, so much shit happened this episode. He almost beheaded, beheaded uh, that one girl, that one wildling this episode as well. It's like... <sighs> As funny as that is, because we saw everybody else make the decision to actually go through with the beheadings, he's the one that decided not to. And hmm, maybe that's going to explain his fate right there. Maybe that's going to save his life by her, him not killing her. And then we saw a little bit of sexual chemistry uh, forming there when she was, uh, you know, when they were spooning and then she was shaking a little bit there. I think he even knew something was happening down below. So he's like, stop that. Stop fucking moving. But no, nah, that was great. But uh, yeah, that's about it for me, guys. Very good episode. I, I really enjoyed this episode. This is probably one of my favorites this season. But um, as always, definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys could like and subscribe, really helps my channel grow. Until next time, I am out. Enjoy your day. Peace. Well, I didn't smoke enough for you. Didn't drink enough for you. Wasn't fun enough for you. Wasn't good enough for you, did. You play me like a yo-yo and shit. Well, I am not the one to be yo yo and with you with that shit on me. Watch you leave, let you back in, you came back in and shit on me, drag me along for a week to my heart.